boys and girls. We're going to write a sentence today, but we're going to do it um, by putting it together. You won't actually have to do the writing. You're just going to do the thinking. So the first thing you're going to need is there were two big pieces of this, I call it manila paper, in your kit. So just take out one because next week we'll use the other one. Just one. You're going to open it up. And I will show you mine in a minute. Mine is on the board, just like I showed you. And the other thing you're going to need is this little strip of words. Now, as you can tell, the words do not make any sense. We know this one. The, woke, and this is up with a question mark. Up, this says what, and bear. The woke up, what bear? Well, that makes no sense at all. So we're going to put this together so it does make sense. The first thing you will do is I'm going to cut all around the edges where those dotted lines are. I'm not going to separate the words yet. I just want to make it nice and neat. So see, I'm cutting off the edge. very careful not to cut up the words. Now this sentence is a question. We can build it together. So what I'd like you to do is you're going to make your words look like this. See how I cut off all this part? That we don't need. So again, we have the woke up. What bear? We have to fix that. So get your strip ready so that it looks like this, and then turn the video back on. Okay, so now yours looks like mine. Well, we have to write a sentence. And one of the rules of writing a sentence means it starts with a capital letter. Look here. There is only one word that starts with a capital letter. What capital letter do you see? I see that W. There aren't any other capital letters, so that's got to be the first word. So, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put this down so I don't lose it. And then I will cut this, and I'm going to save this other little word so I don't lose it. And our first word is what. It's a sight word. You really can't sound it out. It's one you're going to remember. It's not on our word ring yet, but one day it will be what. So that's going to be the beginning of our sentence. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to come over to my huge sheet of paper. And when we write, we always start at the left. So the first word that's going to go on near the bottom, because this is where we're going to illustrate our paper, is what. Okay? What. Hmm, now we have to do some thinking. What would go next? Well, we know that the punctuation in a sentence is last. So this word up with the question mark is going to be last. What? Hmm. The woke bear up. Can you figure it out? I'll tell you. I'm going to take this and I'm going to find the word woke. What woke up the bear? It's a question. What woke up the bear? Hmm. Woke. That's the word you're looking for. W. O. K. And the E is silent. Woke. So I'm going to go back to my board. And I have the word what. I need to leave space. And I will put on the word woke. What woke? They both start with w. What woke? What woke the bear up? What woke the? Can you find the? There's only three words left. You can say the or you can say the, but it's always spelled T-H-E. Did you find it? Okay, let's go back. And let's read and see if it makes sense. Oops, to see. What woke the? I am going to leave some space. 
what woke the... I only have two words left. I have this word that starts with a B, and I have this word that has punctuation. What woke the... Bear. That woke the bear up. Now, I like my words to be very neat. Do you see? Uh, it's hard to tell what you can see. Oh, see how it's got a little extra? I am going to clip that part off. What woke the bear? Here we go. Always keep rereading it. You want to make sure. What woke the bear? That'll finish it. And I have my word up right here. I'm just going to trim off the edges because that makes me feel better. And up is one of our sight words. It just has that question mark. What woke the bear? A little bit of space. Up. Hmm. And that's what you're going to draw. Now, you have a choice. I had thought at first that you could take, I'm getting mine right now, that you could take your cute little bear and glue him on there, and you could also draw what woke the bear up so you could tell him. Remember our story of the sleeping bear? You could make it like that, or if you want to make something different that wakes the bear up at night, you can. Um, I don't think I want to glue my nice bear there. I think I want to take out my crayons and I'll make my own little bear. So let's see. My bear is going to have that kind of rectangly body. And my bear is going to have kind of the same kind of head I made for, that we made on ours some ears and he's gonna have a foot that goes this way how many feet yep he needs four legs I'm kind of copying what the other bear looks like and I will give him a little bear tail now he's not a brown bear he's the black bear so now I have to take my time and color it in And if I'm careful and just color in little circles and little parts, I can do it. Now the part of him I'm thinking while I'm doing this, the part of him that is not black is that part on his face. So I'm going to draw his little muzzle like this. I'm going to leave that this color, but I'm going to give him, there he is, and I'll give him darker eyes. Now, I will finish him. Oh, I know, he doesn't look exactly like a big black bear that we might have in New Hampshire, but I think he's bear-ish. And now I have to decide what woke the bear up. Well, what would wake a bear up in the middle of winter? Would he wake up because he was thirsty? Might. so you could draw the water over here that's getting him up. Remember we said sometimes bears wake up in the middle of the winter. They adjust, but they don't hibernate all winter. Maybe he was hungry and he was looking for food, but oh, it's still winter. So I would make some, um, some snow maybe with your chalk. Or maybe he was hungry and you have a stream with some fish in it. Or maybe, like in that book, there was a little mouse that tickled his nose. You can draw the rest of it. You decide. Okay? In mine, I'm going to put some background, like he's out of his cave. I'm going to put, there's a big old sun coming up over the mountains. There it is. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe the sunshine woke the bear up. Hmm. Maybe I would color it with some of my chalk to make it seem white. Maybe I'd make a little mouse. You decide what woke the bear up. You don't have to write what you do, but you could tell somebody at your house what woke the bear up. And then when mom and dad send their email to me, 
they can say what it was that woke you bear up. And I will keep track and maybe on Friday morning I can um, let everybody know what you wrote. So I can't wait to see. Remember, if you want to use the bear we made earlier this week, you could just glue him on that paper. He would fit. But I want to keep mine up here. And I decided to draw my own. But that's your choice. So remember, what you are drawing is what woke the bear up. Don't forget to add that to your picture and get those words in the right order. You got this. Have fun.